Barabbas, thief and zealot. Matthew 27, 16 through 26. I don't know where to begin. I was once a slave to shame, but in a moment, I was granted freedom. I grew up proud of my heritage, proud to be a Jew. My family lived in Jerusalem, a city which should be the holy city place where we Jews can be ourselves, to live and worship as we like. But the Romans never left us unmolested. They were everywhere. Their religion, their feasts, their way of life was always there, crowding into our everyday lives. Even in the temple, you can feel their presence. Rome was hateful to me. When I was old enough, I took the oath, and I joined a group of men that was dedicated to driving Rome out. Outright rebellion. War was out of the question. There weren't enough. And Rome would squelch any uprising. But we could be there, among the shadows, hiding among the desert dunes, doing what we could from the background, waiting to rise up whenever the Messiah made his appearance. But it wasn't long before the oath I had taken Start to feel like a noose around my neck. What should have been a restrained group of companions united in a singular cause quickly disintegrated into a rabble that was little more than raiders. One day we were again ordered to attack a caravan. But it wasn't until after we attacked that I realized we hadn't attacked Romans, but Jews, my own people. This wasn't what I had agreed to. I couldn't stay. But I am a man of my word, and I gave my oath. And that oath made me a slave. A few months later, I found myself sitting in a stinking Roman prison, condemned to die for attacking my own people. They chose Passover, the holiest of time for Jews, for my execution date. And while I hated Rome all the more for that choice, it really didn't matter. I was haunted by shame, ashamed of my brothers, <clears throat> ashamed of the slavery that I had chosen. <clears throat> Ashamed of the deeds that I had done. Then, suddenly, unexpectedly, I was released. The Roman dog that unchained me offered no explanation. In sudden darkness, I followed a crowd to Golgotha. 
piecing the story together as I walk. My shame mounting. Soon I found myself standing at the foot of the cross. The very cross that was meant for me. My eyes met his. And in that instant, instead of feeling ashamed, I felt free. On the hill of the skull, instead of breathing my last, I breathed my first. For the first time in a long time, maybe the first time ever, I felt free. I couldn't understand why they wanted him and not me. I couldn't believe that it was his blood and not mine. It should have been mine. I don't understand it. But in all the pain and darkness of that day, there was freedom and light. Somehow, his torn body exuded freedom. His freedom. His victory became my own. There was no defeat in that place. None in him. There was only victory. More than enough for everyone. Amen. Amen.